Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I'm a student here at FSU. I'm a senior studying digital media production and marketing. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through my lovely campus. This video is for all the prospective current and past students who just wanna look back and get a beautiful view of our campus. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you are, like the video and let's go. Alrighty guys, so our first stop on the tour is a stop at Landis Green. This is the most public green of our campus. This is where people hang out with their dogs, chill, do homework. And we have Landis Hall right behind me. This is the honors dorm at FSU. So if you're in the honors college and you're a freshman, this is likely where you'll be staying. So across from Landis is our main library. This is Strozier Library where everyone likes to hang out, get some Starbucks and study. There's a basement floor where people like to study to get complete silence. No one's actually allowed to speak. They'll give you a really weird look if you do. But I've had some of my favorite college memories in this library and it's really clutch if you're trying to get a book or just hang out with your friends. Alrighty guys, now we are at my stomping grounds. As a marketing major, this is where I have all of my classes. This is the Rovetta College of Business. There's a part A and B right behind me. So as some of you may know, I'm a part of Alpha Kappa Psi, which is a co-ed business fraternity, and all of our meetings used to be here, and we used to hang out around here. And it's a really great place for all the business majors to socialize. And speaking of clubs, there are over 750 plus student-run clubs and organizations on campus, so you will actually never run out of things to do here. So that's that on the Rovetta College of Business and now we're gonna head to Legacy Walk. Alrighty guys, right now we are on Legacy Walk. This is where many students go to and from classes as there are a lot of classroom buildings around this area. To my left we have HCB. Some people think this stands for huge classroom building, not confirmed, but there are some huge classrooms in there. To my right, we have the unfinished union, but once this is finished, it's going to have a bowling alley, a new club down under, which is our like student arts organization. They put on shows and concerts. And every Wednesday of the week, we have something called Market Wednesday. So once that starts back up, it's going to have a new home at our union as well. Alrighty guys, so now we're at the integration statue, which is actually right behind my talented videographer. But this statue is a symbol of integration of the university with the black community. So we have three figures at this statue. They are Fred Flowers, which is the first black undergraduate to wear an athletic uniform. His sister, Dobby Flowers, who was the first black homecoming princess. And Maxwell Courtney, who was the first black admitted student. So it's a beautiful testament to how far the university has come and a great symbol of integration on our campus. And a little bit further behind me, we have the Den, which is a 24-7 Denny's on campus. It's where all the freshmen like to go after going out and you can use some of your meal swipes there. So it's a favorite late night spot. Alrighty guys, welcome to the more sciencey part of campus. Here we have the biology building, the chemistry building, the college of medicine, the psychology building, and we also happen to have one of the oldest dorms on campus, which is Sally Hall. Unfortunately, this isn't everyone's favorite dorm, but I've heard some really great relationships come out of it. And right next to Sally dorm, we have Seminole Dining, and on your lucky days, you'll find Miss Killings here, who's happy to give you a hug and say, I love you, baby. If I make one student happy every day, that's very important to me. Thanks, I love you. She's a gem of Florida State, and if you're lucky, you'll see her. And so now that we are in the smarter part of campus, I just wanted to touch on some of our statistics. We happen to be the number 19 public university in the country, so if you're looking at a public option, FSU is definitely up there when it comes to academics. We also happen to have the highest four-year graduation rate of all Florida schools. I'm talking to UUF, 
And you'll never be lonely on campus as there happen to be about 42,000 students here at FSU. And I know we do study a lot, but we also party pretty hard. And football is the main reason, so let's go to the stadium. Alrighty guys, welcome to Doak. As a digital media student and student in general, spending time here was some of the best days of my college career, and here's some of the stuff I shot. guys now we are in the southwestern part of campus right behind my videographer we have the stadium which is actually the longest continuous brick building besides the wall of china so fun fact right there and behind me we have the circus we are one of only two colleges in the united states that has a circus so if you're flexible and fun you should try out for the circus Hey guys, we're at the Leech right now. This is the 120,000 square foot athletic and workout facility on our campus. We have basketball courts, we have workout rooms, we have all the machinery you've ever dreamed of, and we have a swimming pool. So if you guys are ever looking for an exercise, be sure to check out the Leech. Alrighty guys, and much like this is the last stop on the official FSU tour you get in person, we are making our last stop the Westcott Building and Fountain. This is one of the oldest buildings at FSU and houses the President and Vice President's offices as well as Ruby Diamond Hall. I've seen some great artists here like Nathan Fielder as well as the photographer for Humans of New York, so they put on a lot of cool events here. A tradition here is to be thrown into the fountain behind me on your 21st birthday. It's definitely one for the books and always super fun. And that wraps up our tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Forrest's content as well. And as always, go Knowles. You got it, Erica. I know I got it, but I don't know how to end it. <laughs>